In a world where thirst is your best friend, swimming is merely a dream. Dirt cannot make mud. There is no water. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a little dramatic. But seriously, there's not a lot of water left. We need to conserve it. Hey, Maddie. I was wondering, what's water conservation? Most people believe water conservation is doing without water, when in fact, it is simply doing more with less. Only 3.5% of Earth's water is fresh water, and 68.6% .6 of that is frozen. Water conservation is promoting efficient use of what little we have and preventing waste. Well, that's great and all, but why should I conserve water? Well, Josh, our Earth seems to be covered in water, but really, we can only drink fresh water, and fresh water only makes up 3.5% of the water on Earth. There are many benefits to conserving water. Environmental benefits, limited supply, it saves you from paying high energy prices, and you look good helping the planet. Water conservation is fundamental in ensuring water availability in the future. Okay, so do you understand all this? Are you confused? Or I, th I think I'm starting to What can we do to help on campus? Yeah, what can we do? Funny you asked. We were just talking about ways to conserve water on campus. Check it out. What are you doing? Don't leave the water on your brush your teeth, turn it off! One drop of water weighs 3,000 gallons per year. Think about how much water you waste when you leave the water on brushing your teeth for two whole minutes. Hey Sierra, are you in the shower? Yeah, I'm gonna get in a minute. I got a lot of stuff to do, you know, before I get in the shower. I'm just gonna run up for a couple seconds. What are you doing? Letting it run. You're wasting water. A showerhead leaking at 10 drips per minute wastes as much as 500 gallons per year. That's enough water to wash 60 loads of dishes. Wow, think about if we just cut our shower by even 3 minutes. That would save so much water. What are you doing? This is half full still. A 112 ounce water bottle contains 7,200 drops of water. Assuming every bottle in landfills contains at least one drop of water, then we are preventing 7.4 million gallons of water from returning to the atmosphere. As you can see, conserving water on campus isn't difficult at all. It's doing more with less. Actually, you're not too cool to conserve water. Water, 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 you have to conserve Because if you don't, there won't be any more Just take a few steps, it won't waste your time da 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 Just turn off the water when you're brushing your teeth And showing your shower just a minute or two You save 150 gallons per month da 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 How cool! And share these tips and many, many more With your neighbors and friends so we can save any more Water, 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 you have to conserve Because if you don't, there won't be any more Just take a few steps, it won't waste your time you save many gallons and future lasts and da da da.